<laughs> Today we'll be counting down the top five Joker action figures. Let's get into it. For number five, we have here the McFarlane DC Multiverse, the criminal, a very underrated Joker in my opinion. As you can tell, he is all fixed up, spick and span. He's got his cane. He's got this sort of smug look on his face. He's not a bad Joker, but he is reused from other Jokers before, which we will have one on this list as well. But again, he's very underrated. He's not bad at all. That's why he's at number five. In number four, we have a, again another Joker that is underrated. This is Joker from the Mortal Kombat 11 game. This is the standard release. There is a version you can get on Big Bad Toy Store, a bloody version, which does again, it's exactly the same figure, just got some blood, de uh, blood sports put on him in random spots. But again, this Joker is underrated as well. It's made to look more human-like, but still... The grin, the knife, the cane, all of it just really makes this Joker really fun. Now, he is lacking, again, in articulation because of the hard plastic rubber coat. But again, he is not a bad Joker figure at all. And that is why I have him at number four. At the number three spot, we have what is considered one of my favorite McFarlane DC Multiverse Jokers. That is, of course, the White Knight. Now, this Joker is one of those that has very fluid articulation. There is really not that many limitations, except in the torso, the ab crunch. There's a bit of limitations there. However, also, what this Joker comes with, not only the long, classic Joker long gun, but he also comes with a alternate jacket. Of course, make him. Um, you can make him Jack Napier, or you can make him the Joker. Or I've seen some people. You can actually use this Joker head for kit bashes if you like that kind of stuff. It is a very good Joker. I personally, it is one of my favorites in my collection of McFarlane DC Multiverse Joker figures, and that is why he's at number three. At the number two spot, we have here the DC Multiverse McFarlane Arkham City Joker. Now again, this is a complete reuse of the Arkham Asylum Joker. Just where he's made to look sick. The muted colors, the face, everything looks very nice. And as you all know, this Joker is voiced by the legendary Mark Hamill himself. Again, this Joker should have come with guns, but he doesn't. He comes with a sword that Talia al Ghul gives him. Of course, that Joker turned out to be uh, Clayface. And then he also, of course, comes with a signature Joker knife. But really, overall, it should have come with guns. But again, we know why these figures cannot come with guns. It's because of Warner Brothers' rule, which Tom McFarlane has explained that numerous times. But it is still a great Joker nonetheless, and that's why he's at... Number two. And finally, at the number one spot is, of course, the Clown Joker. Now, again, like I said, the comedian was at number five. I said we were going to find a Joker that does produce the same mold, and of course, this the Clown. This is probably one of the best Jokers that Todd McFarlane has made. So I do recommend you should add this McFarlane Joker to your collection that is why he is absolutely at number one. And that is all the time I have for today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you all stopping by. Do you agree with my picks? Do you disagree with my picks? Let me know down in the comments section below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, what is your favorite Jokers you have in your McFarlane collection? Again, let me know down below. And as I always say, guys, uh, Take care.